And now for Halford's Trapper's Tip of the Week. Today's tip is on breakaway devices on snares. Now, a lot of places, breakaway devices are already the law. Uh, rumor has it, very good rumor, that it's coming to be law in Alberta as well. And what a breakaway device is, is simply a, a spot or a, a component of the, the snare that is designed to fail at a certain break strength. And the reason for that is to reduce incidental catches. For instance, this uh, is a power ram, pre-made power ram snare, okay? And by law in Saskatchewan, it has to break, I think, at 275 pounds. So this actual piece of, of aluminum here, this flattened aluminum, is uh, the, the weak spot or the breakaway device. Now, it's not just simply enough that the, the snare breaks and the animal wanders off with the snare around it. It has to release the animal as well. So when this aluminum here fails, what actually happens is if I, if I just cut the other side here, when that fails, the snare opens up and there's no longer anything around the, the, the deer's leg, okay? So that's how this fails. And what usually happens is just by stress, if you, if you exert 300 pounds worth of stress, that will pull out of there, that simple. On our free hanging snares in that, in Alberta, this is what's called the breakaway device, this, this little S-shaped piece of metal, see? I got two different sizes here. The one, the small one that's on the snare already here, uh, is for the, is for coyote. I think it's a 265, 285, something like that pound breakaway. The big one in my hand is a thousand pounder and it's used for uh, out in the bush for, for when we're using them for wolves so it'll release a, a, um, a moose. How this works now is that this S hook will actually open. Okay, now it will, it, it will fail and because this is how we create it, you see how the S hook is, is, is actually on our, our cam? So it the, the way we create our snare, and I'll show you how to build these, these new wolf snares and that kind of stuff later, later on in another show. Our snare loop actually comes right out of that uh, S-hook, okay? So it's really simple, is that if, if this S-hook fails by straightening out, opening up, this is what happens. Kaboom! There's no longer, there's no longer a loop, okay? The animal's free and there's nothing left around the animal. These are very important distinctions. Uh, these are, are, like I say, easy to institute, both of them. And I will show you again on, a, on a, a later show when I build some wolf snares. But just thought a heads up, here's what's coming. That was Halford's Trapper's Tip of the Week.